Hello, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where I show one particular feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're looking at using the healing tool to remove distracting background elements. So I've got this image here that I have been editing. I have masked out my subject. I've got a video on how I did that uh, that you'd be able to check out. But I have some people in the background that I don't want to see. So we could come up to the tool selection here and simply grab our healing tool. Uh, we could also create it by coming to my layers tool here and create a new heal layer. The reason I like to do that is it automatically selects that we are working inside of that layer for any additional work I might do. I then going to come to the healing tool. I'm going to right click. I can change the size, which I want to be relative to about the size of the subject. I want the hardness pulled down so that it has a nice feathering job and blends in easily, but I want the flow and opacity pulled up. I'm just going to come over this subject and I'm just going to mark right over them. It's going to figure out where to clone from. I could click from this circle and I could move it anywhere and in real time it'll show me what that new clone selection or healing reference selection would look like. Move this until my horizon line looks the way that I might want it should be probably like that, and I'm in good shape. If I press M, I can see the masked area again, and I could edit this masked area, add to it, or subtract from it like any other mask. Make sure that it's selected, and I could come to my eraser tool or the magic eraser tool. All right, that's what I've got for you today, how to easily remove a distracting background element. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.